Hello and welcome to uh, a brief introduction to InfoSurge Pro, an extension to the InfoWater Pro hydraulic modeling platform. In this video, we'll just go through a couple of the inputs to InfoSurge, uh, how to navigate the, the couple tools within the interface and how to make best use of it to identify kind of transient uh, events and surge events and how to maybe correct those within your hydraulic network here. So uh, in this particular model, uh, we are going to model or at pump kind of shut off, um, pump cutoff event, which creates a transient analysis in uh, this particular model here. So uh, one thing within uh, InfoWater Pro, there are lots of tools and toolbars uh, with the Info Surge extension. Basically, you're, you're just adding a few tools here. So depending on what asset you're selecting, what model element you're selecting, different icons here. Uh, will be highlighted here. So I have a pump highlight here. This is the pump that's that's going to be uh, kind of breaking. It's going to uh, cutting off. It's going to cause that um, surge event. Um, and you can see I've got different uh, controls for that. If I click on this junction here, which is going to contain uh, a surge tank or um, different surge could have different surge protection devices. We're going to compare. Okay, kind of what happens without this uh, surge protection device. Uh, and what happens with it. So uh, before any of that though, you might be wondering, okay, if I've got info surge, you know, I could have transient events happening, I'm not sure of, how could I find those easily within a, a model here? So uh, you would basically run your uh, analysis and in here again, surge is an additional tab with multiple different options here uh, for running your surge event and you would run your, your, your surge analysis very similar to kind of a, a standard uh, hydraulic analysis, it's always good to run your, your kind of standard extended period simulation or steady state sim simulation before running a surge analysis. Uh, so you can always just do that first. But then once you run uh, your surge analysis here, one quick way to identify, okay, what are areas where I might be having transient events is to simply go to the report manager and take a look at uh, I've already have it pulled up here, but basically the report is look at your surge results in the surge node range. Anywhere you are seeing minimum values uh, for pressure during your surge event that are below or at zero, those are areas where there could be cavitation and those would be areas you could easily uh, start to select and add to save that, save that as a particular selection and review those uh, for different surge or transient events here. Okay. So uh, that's identifying your transient event, where that might be. Uh, and then once you get to that event, once you get to that spot, how you, can you compare and, and maybe mitigate uh, that surge event here? So uh, again, I've got a surge event here where if we look at uh, our pump here and in the different settings here for um, how it's kind of shutting off, I can, I can uh, when it's tripping, um, you know, you can specify, okay, it takes two seconds or so to actually go from uh, you know, pumping to having that trip event here. There are other parameters in here. You can specify what, what should the head be? What was the flow before it tripped? Uh, how long does it take for that kind of check valve to go in here? And here I've made it very small to, to actually nothing to really make this a large transient event, make it viewable for all of you. But the idea is, you know, once you have that uh, event, you, you run your surge analysis then. Again, maybe once you specified that, uh, and then you can come in here, come and look at this report. And here, I've kind of jumped the gun with this graph, but here you can see this is the uh, purple line is the surge event. You can see the surge, kind of the, the fluctuations on the downstream pressure for this pump. Upstream pressure for this pump, it's even kind of quicker, right? But downstream pressure is where you're really seeing that transient event. So you can see that uh, with the surge, without the surge protection here. And then I have run this with the surge tank as well. Uh, and that's this green line here where we're seeing that event be mitigated a little bit. Uh, one of the big things with the surge analysis, right, is normally your InfoWater Pro hydraulic run is going to be done in, you know, minutes, hours, days, that simulation could go on. For this, you're really looking at a very quick time step so that if you uh, were to, again, color code your map where you're looking for those areas that are have very minimum pressure, you can review your map and your results uh, and the time step is seconds, right, instead of uh, longer minutes or hours or days even. Um, and you're looking at that. Uh, other analyses here that are particularly useful when it comes to the InfoSurge application is again, if I go to my report manager here, I say new graph. If I create a new uh, report here, 
and say I want to look at a, a number of different pipes uh, and seeing how that that transient affects them I'm gonna say you know let's look at the range of pipes from here to there let's open that up and we can see them the max pressure uh, the average kind of pressure and the minimum pressure occurring during this surge event. So I've got huge pressure uh, fluctuations here over 80. Down, here's some of my negative values here. I'm definitely uh, being affected by that transient event here. Quite a large water hammer in this case. Uh, and then I can look at that uh, through an an quick animation here as well, where we can start to look at the cavitation. That's what you're seeing here. Uh, and then if I were to play this, right, you can see the fluctuation, okay, the, the change in pressure from um, this event here. So going very low, going very high, you can see the max, the min levels here. Uh, yeah, the cavitation is popping up here, uh, wherever you see the bubbles, I guess, here. So the, the water is good here, but occasionally yeah, you see the black, and the, that's the, the cavitation that's being shown here. Compare that to, right, if I close this out and I change this, I add that uh, surge tank here with particular parameters, update that, rerun this analysis, run analysis here just takes a few seconds, it's not a very long simulation. If I do that, go back to my report manager, refresh that graph now that I've added that surge device here, uh, a little bit better, a little bit better, not as quite as high. Uh, not quite as low, still still definitely uh, a surge event there. Uh, so I might have to go back and, and change the parameters for that surge uh, tank, but um, a, a lot um, less significant, I guess. So here's my you know pressure during that particular time step, three seconds, max, min. Uh, and again, I can see that um, surge event kind of animated here if I'd like to. And if I play this, let's see if we have cavitation now. Again, much less. And it looks like don't have quite the cavitation as before. All right, so those are just some of the basics when it comes to info surge and transient analysis within InfoWater Pro. Uh, if you have further questions, please do reach out to support at Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.